I know this video is long, but in this video we're going to learn how to turn this image into this image. Now, at first sight, it doesn't look that much different, but the process of turning this into this image is really great for beginners. You will learn a lot about GIMP. So please just stick around. I know you will learn a lot about GIMP. Please enjoy. Hello YouTube. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I can almost guarantee to you, you will not be disappointed. I have been working very hard on this tutorial series, so let's just begin. For my example, I'm going to be using a flower photo. You'll learn a lot throughout this video. We're, all, we're going to learn all the different processes of editing different ways, and again, we're going to be using even the, the heal tool to correct my flower. I mean, we're going to try to make this flower look absolutely incredible. So I got a picture of a flower here. Um, and it looks very nice. Um, taken on the back of an iPhone 5, not exceptional quality. Um, you know, I didn't really want to, you know, go really fancy, take it with a nice DSLR, because it would already look great. So that's why I kind of took it with the back of an iPhone 5, because it's not going to be the best quality, so I have something to work around, I have some quality to add. Now, in this video, we're going to go over taking out unwanted objects in the flower. So, for example, there's a few specks on here. We're going to get rid of those. We're going to improve the clarity of the flower, so it's a little bit more clear, um, and it's just easier to look at. We're going to improve the color of this flower here, and we're going to maintain the focus just on the flower, so it's only focusing on the flower. Everything else is blurred out. And we will even touch on just changing the colors in the background here so they look a little bit um not not distracting, but uh, so still look a little bit, you know, more in the background. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. We've got a lot of covers, so I think we should begin. We're going to start off by opening up GIMP here, like so. We're going to go ahead and open up our image of our flower here. Got mine right in here. First thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to improve the overall clarity of the flower, make it look a little bit better. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to filters. I'm going to go to Enhance, and I'm just going to go down to Sharpen. It looks a lot sharper, you know, improve everything in here. So now, now you can see everything looks pretty good. I'd actually go towards the flower. So get towards the flower, okay. So see, look at the flower. And this sharpness right here, the more you go, um, yeah, the noisier it's going to get. So. I'm just going to drag it to a decent spot where the middle of the flower, see if I went to zero, that's what it looks like right now. And you can really see the difference now than it was then. So I'm going to put it around, um, me, about oh, 70, maybe 65, 60, somewhere in that area. It really depends on what you need to do to your image. Click OK. You can already see that it looks a lot sharper there. So I'll just uh, replay that here. Now we have to start working on just the flower itself because the background is clear enough after that sharpness that we just added. I'm going to leave the background at the very end so when we start messing with the colors it's not really going to affect the flower. So I'm going to go up here and grab my free select tool and I'm going to zoom in. First thing. Ooh. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to grab my free select tool and I'm going to start working. I'm going to go all around the edge of my flower. Now, I used to think that it wasn't that important to be exactly on the dots like this. Because, you know, that, that looks okay. But I soon realized that it's crucial to be exactly on the spot. I tried doing this the other day. I went around the edges, not exactly inside perfectly, but I did feather it afterwards so it looked okay. Um, but you see, that was kind of a mistake of mine, because now I have this, like, green, uh, circle around the flower, because I was just practicing exactly what we're going to do in this tutorial, um, and I like to do that, so really make sure that you're really, like, zoomed in, got your free select tool, and you are going just on the edges of the flower. So it's going to be great when we're done, because we're going to add a whole orange layer and everything. I'm going to not make you wait this whole time. I'll be right back when my flower is completely 
um, I'm done around the edges. You know, a lot of detail, took me some time. I zoomed in quite a lot, and um, I'm pretty happy with the result. So now I'm going to pull the focus on the background and focus just on my flower. So I'm going to go up to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Sure if I didn't pronounce that right. So now you have this little tiny thing here. Um, this window will control how much blur you're going to put on the background. Now keep in mind, the more blur, probably the better. That could mean the better. Um, but the only issue with this is any bit of orange that you might have missed, like as you can see there's a little bit of an orange glow going around here, and that is my fault for not putting in that much detail. So I might put mine around probably 8, 7, um, I'd go 7. Mine's around 7. Depends on how much you put on yours, but I put on 7. So there you go. The background's blurred a lot more now. Now my flower is a lot you focus a little bit more on the flower now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select invert again. So now we're inside of our flower and I'm going to make the flower a tad bit more orange. Now before I want to do that I'm still going to want to enhance it by going to that sharpen. Sharpen is going to be your best friend throughout this series. I sharpen my images a lot. I just think it's going to help a lot. Um, and it's just it overall looks really good. So now I'm going to sharpen that one more time. And it looks a little bit more crisp and clear. Now keep in mind, if you did take it on a bad resolution camera, you're not gonna, you can't really make it look any better. You can just make it look a little bit more clear. That's all you can really do at this point. The rest was really just when you took the photo. So, but that's okay. Um, so now it looks pretty good. I'm gonna add a new layer now. And I'm gonna call this bright orange. Call it whatever you want course make sure it's on transparency same how it is okay so now we got our bright orange in this layer I'm going to take the paint bucket tool and take an orange the same orange that I have as this flower pretty much the same color it's a little off it's okay I'm going to paint it so now we just kind of have the shape of the flower and that's not what we want so I'm going to go up to mode multiply and look at how much more crisp and clear that flower is I could even tone it down a little bit if I would like. I think it's still a little bit strong, so I could always make this a little less um, strong, a little weaker of an orange. Like so, same process. Just do it till you get, till you like the result. So I'm okay with that result. I um, I might come back to it. That's the point of adding the new layer. So if I later, when I'm really done and I just don't like the flower result at all, I can delete it. Um, and then start again. So that should be okay for now. Also, if you wanted to change the color of your flower, this is when it is done. Now, of course, if you're going to have a new color completely, like taking this orange and just completely scrapping it and making a whole new color, it's not going to look very good. So maybe let's, I put a dark red on it. Watch this. So I'm going to go here, multiply, and see it's, it's not great at all. Um, I could always use my fuzzy select and just kind of go with some colors here. Change it up a little bit, make it look a little bit more realistic, but really I would go with just a different shade of the same color you have. Uh, very simply done. So I'm going to use that same orange there for this. And it looks pretty good. So now what I want to do is I'm going to want to fill with the background here. So I like the background, but I think it could still use a little bit more. Again, it's your pro it's your photo. You can skip this part if you don't want. Always just customize it to the way you like it. It's your image. Make it what you want. But I don't really love that as much as I think I should. So now I'm pretty happy with this orange. I like it. It's a lot brighter, a lot nicer. But I want to kind of change the background color now. So we have it pulled focus on our flower. Our flower is brighter. It's more enhanced. We um, sharpened it. We sharpen the background, but now I want to make the background fit the flower a little bit more and just change the colors up a little bit in the flower. So this is very easily done. I'm just going to go back to my image layer and make sure you have inverted it again. So if I go into select invert, make sure you're on the outside of your flower with the lines going all around the box. And now I'm going to go to colors, color balance. And now I can kind of fiddle with these settings here. I want to go crazy. I mean, that just looks weird. 
So just maybe a little bit off every time. So I'm just gonna fiddle with this till it's a little bit less green, a little brighter green. Take down this, maybe make it a little more red. Really just customize it to the way you like it. Um, like that. Um, really, will, whatever you want, that's what you want to do. So, that should be good. Like that. It's really nice. So that flower looks a lot better and the whole image is just coming together. Um, and now as you can see, I'm starting not to like the orange. So that's why we created this new orange layer. So I think I might just delete that orange layer. And now it just looks a little bit more realistic. There's still a few enhancing things I can do and I will show you those now. So now I do still like the way my image is coming together. Um, but I kind of think I should change it a little bit. The color looks good after we deleted that. That's just a, you know, personal opinion of mine, the way I like my images and not. But I think that looks pretty good. I want to change it a little bit more. So I can go add a new layer here. And on this layer, go back down here. I'm going to select my invert. I'm going to select this part of the flower. See that color right there? That color right there. I'm going to maybe I want to change that um, on my new layer. Take that color, change it, um, you know, then maybe multiply it. And I'm not a huge fan of this. Maybe I just wanted to do that. Maybe I didn't, you know, it's up to you. Opinions, opinions, whatever you like. I'm not a huge fan of that. I just thought I would put that in this video so that you guys can know how to do this. So that you guys can apply this to your own image. Um, now what I'm going to do is my final step. What I said right in the beginning what I was going to do. I'm going to put that into practice right now. And I'm going to remove any unwanted little things like that, like that. I'm going to patch up that with this nice orange using the heel tool. I like to call it the band-aid tool because, you know. So I'm going to press command, select on my spot there. And I'm just going to click over on my spot that I didn't want to get rid of. Uh, today I did upload a video on how to do this. By the time you're watching this, it will be up there on my channel. But as you can see, I'm healing that little tiny spot here. And now all it's doing is using that as a texture in this one spot here. Um, crank up the size a little bit maybe if I wanted to. Ooh, that's not a bit nice. Crank up the size, whatever you want. Just make this whole color there like that. Now you see there's that little spot there. Do the same here. You can just make it so it's the closest color we have to it. There, there. And then there's an the object that we didn't want there. It's completely gone. Ooh. Doesn't look the best. Just fiddle around with it. It's your image. Depending on what you want. That's how you can do it. So I'm just going to place that. That. And that. So really, you can really do anything you really want with this. You can really make your image look a lot better. A lot better doing this. So if I wanted this here. Add that there. You know, it really is up to you. Do whatever you want with this. I think that is good. We've got rid of two of the things that I really want in here. They were just kind of annoying me. And there's our final image for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, I really hope you like this. I thought this, I think this looks really good. Um, I can actually, I'm just going to export it here. So you can see after edit. I'm just going to save it here. To my desktop, crank up that quality to 100% because it's a good looking image. And now you can see before editing, you can still see that it's a little bit blur right here in the center. After editing, it just really came of life. Look at that difference. Ah, wow. That's just crazy the difference there. It looks a lot better after editing, as you can see. A great photo, and you can still tell your friends that you took that on the back of your phone. That's really good quality for taking it on the back of your phone. That is DSLR quality. That is just, I can't even believe that. The way it came together here at the end, unbelievable. Thank you guys for watching this so much. Thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure you click subscribe because the next episode is coming soon, and you will not want to miss the next episode of this, as well as all my other GIMP tutorials I do, and I also do a lot of other tutorial stuff. 
maybe Blender's coming soon, Game Salad, Unity tutorials, all that good stuff is coming. So make sure you click the subscribe button. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.